It's said that singing loudly at the foot of a snowy mountain can trigger an avalanche. To test this, Adam built a 70-degree cardboard slope, sprinkled flour over it, and used a motor to create vibrations simulating snow. After a while, the flour began sliding on its own, showing the critical point of a natural avalanche. The test was repeated. When the slope was near collapse, Adam sang loudly. Even at 150 decibels, the flour didn't move. But when he directed the sound toward the base of the slope, Slope, it slid slightly. This small-scale success gave the myth a bit of credibility. The team then went to the Colorado mountains and brought in a professional opera singer. The singer's powerful notes echoed across the mountain, but nothing happened. They amplified the sound with speakers. Still no avalanche, only a few wolves stirred. Finally, Jamie placed explosives at different points on the mountain and used a crash test dummy. The explosions triggered a small avalanche. The dummy was dragged down but suffered only minor damage. Conclusion, singing doesn't cause avalanches.